right, I got another good video for you guys. <gasps> Today's video, I'm going to be discussing the top five highest paying sales jobs in tech and how you can earn more than surgeons, lawyers, doctors, some CEOs of companies. <gasps> and how you can find these opportunities very quickly, even in today's market. Now, many of you guys are gonna say, that's all you talk about, Antoine, is tech sales. Well, yes, because you're going to see some of the highest paying sales jobs in this video, guys. Oh my God! So if you want to see how much money you can make in tech sales, stick around and watch the entire video. I am Antoine Wade from the Black Heights channel. That's right, from the Black Heights channel. So go ahead and hit that like button. And if you are new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We welcome you. Now let's get to the video. Now guys, before we get into the big money talk, say make money, money, make money, money, money. Make money, money, make money, money, money. Uh, money makes the world go round. We're gonna be talking about the different compensation structures that exist out there because many of you don't know the types of compensation that you are paid in tech sales and it is important to understand how the compensation structures work. Now, there are typically four compensation components that I've seen in tech sales over the last five years. One, base salary. Two, commissions. Three, bonuses. And four, equity. Typically when you are in an entry level sales role, you're just going to have a base salary and commission. And that represents your on target earnings. So a lot of the times you're going to hear the word OTE and I'm going to talk about OTE in this video today. And I'm going to say it many times. OTE stands for on target earnings. And it is a combination of your base salary, what you are guaranteed on a yearly basis. And it also is a combination of the commissions that you will earn if you hit quota. So when you see an OTE of $100,000, that is a combination of a base salary with the commissions at 100% of your commissions. Now, when I first went to sales, guys, an opportunity to move into an enterprise account executive role. Not many people transition from a leader in customer success to that of an enterprise account executive. And the only reason I was able to do it was because of my industry experience. I've been in the industry of supply chain for over 17 years. Can you believe that? I'm pretty old. I'm pretty old guys. But nevertheless, I was paid a base salary of around $150,000. And my OTE was $300,000. So you guys can do the math. Do the math with me right now. A salary, $150,000 with an OTE of $300,000. So what is my commission? My commissions is another $150,000 if I meet my quota at 100%. So if I get to 100% in my quota, I would be at $300,000. And the cool thing about it is there's no cap. If you go above that 100% quota, you make even more. And the cool thing about me is when I was in sales my second year, absolutely crushed it, made 540. Damn! So base salary at 150, the others was commissions. Now there's some companies that do base salary, commissions, and bonuses. But what I've seen is that the bonuses come at the managerial level. Bonuses come at the managerial level, or there may be a sign on bonus when you come into that company. There are some companies that will give you, as to say, $90,000 to start with them. And a lot of time is that because their base salaries are a little bit lower and they wanna give you some money so that you can build a book of business. The other compensation structure is equity. And this is also what I've seen is that when you get equity, if it's not a startup, you have to be in a managerial role. Say those managers a lot of the times or VP of sales get equity. And a lot of the times they get bonuses as well for meeting the company objectives. <laughs> 
So when you're looking at the overall package, there are four components, like we said, base salary, commissions, bonuses, and equity. And each component has its pros and cons. So it's important to understand what is best for you. Now let's get to the top five high paying sales jobs. And this is from the website, The Quota, who has looked at sales jobs and sales compensation in Q1 of 2023. And guess who comes in at number one? <gasps> the Big Blue, that is IBM, a company that's been around for a very, very long time. Their strategic account executives have an OTE of $385,000 a year. And that is just base salary and commission. Now, if you perform over 100%, there are many accelerators and you can make more than $782,000. Their best strategic account managers at IBM are making over $782,000 thousand dollars a year that is a lot of money <gasps> coming in at number two is the company you i have they paid their sled ae now what does sled stand for because you already know what ae stand for an account executive still what <gasps> Bleh. Ah! sled <laughs> let me do that again SLED stands for state government, local government, and educational sector. So these are individuals who are selling to government and educational sector folks. In UiPath, they offer process automation to these different governments or these different industries. And a SLED account executive at UiPath can make 350,000 OTE, that's base, and that's commission. And the high performers at UiPath, the high performers are making $945,000 a year. Oh my God. And guess what? At UiPath, over 56% of their sales professionals are making their quota. That is right. So over 50% are making over $350,000 a year. Coming in at number three is Workboard, which is a company that powers the digital operating rhythm for companies around the globe, providing organizational-wide clarity, alignment, and insights for growth. And they pay their enterprise account executives an OTE of $350,000 per year. And the top performers at Workboard are getting paid $497,000 plus. That is a lot of money, guys. And coming in at number four is the company Sales Loft. Sales Loft is the provider of leading sales engagement platforms that help sellers and sales teams drive more revenue. That's what they do. They help sales teams drive more revenue. And they pay their strategic account executives an OTE of $340,000 a year. And high performers make anywhere around $876,000 plus. And guess what, guys? Over 40% of their salespeople are hitting quota. So they are a great company to look out for if you want to make a lot of money in your sales career. And coming in at number five is Harness. And Harness is a company that has a platform designed to help companies accelerate their cloud initiatives, as well as their adoption of containers and orchestration tools like Kubernetes and Amazon ECS. And guess what? They pay their strategic account executives an OTE of $340,000. Remember what OTE stands for? A salary and commissions, but it really stands for the word OTE means on target earnings. So that's a combination of a salary and commissions at 100%. $340,000 is what they pay their strategic account executives who make quota. And high performers make anywhere from 1 million to 1.26 million. Oh my God. That is so much money. 
say make money, money, make money, money, money. Make money, money, make money, money, money. Uh, money makes the world go round. Woo! Now those are the top five tech sales roles that are out there. Let me repeat it again. Strategic account executive at IBM with an OTE of $385,000. Sled AEs at UiPath make $350,000 OTE. Enterprise account executives at Workboard make $350,000 OTE. Strategic account executives at Salesloft make $340,000 OTE. And at Harness, they're paying their strategic account executives $340,000 OTE. E. Now you're probably asking, hey Antoine, how can I find some of these high paying sales jobs? Well, I'm gonna give you a quick answer. There are a few things that you can do to increase your chances of finding a high paying sales job. Number one, you can get a degree in a relevant field such as business or marketing. That's what you can do, get a degree because as you continue to climb up, a lot of these companies still require a degree. Now you can break into tech sales with courses like course careers or courses like level careers or courses on Coursera that talks about sales. However, courses aren't just going to allow for you to get a lot of these opportunities. Big time companies want to see degrees still, even though we are in this day of age where degrees don't mean as much as they did before, they still are requiring some of you guys to have degrees. Now, the second thing that you can do is gain experience in sales by working as an intern or an entry level salesperson. This is why when people ask me how to break into tech sales, I always point them to Course Careers because it is a fantastic company that has a fantastic course taught by industry leaders on how to do the job of an SDR or a BDR. But there's other courses that exist out there that are on Coursera and Google and so forth that you can take. You don't have to do a course careers if that's not your jam. The other thing that you can do is network with people in the sales industry and this is important. Although the sales industry is quite large, depending on which industry you're in, such as tech or supply chain or cybersecurity, a lot of the folks know each other because they recycle salespeople in these companies quite often, right? So network with people in the sales industry so that you can build a network. And when your time is all to bat and hit a home run, you will be right there. And the last thing I would say is this, be prepared to work hard and make a lot of phone calls and send a lot of emails and to get rejected. That is right. And to get rejected. So that's the video today, folks. I'm going to tell you like this. Sales can be a very lucrative career path. And if you are willing to work hard and put in the effort, you can earn very high salaries, more than doctors, lawyers, and so forth. You know, when I was in early in my career and I went to one of the sales leaders houses and I saw that he had a three story house, right? Basement, first floor, second floor. And the basement was like a freaking arcade and it had like a bowling alley in it and a theater in it and so forth. And I always wanted to know how he got there. Well, he got there by making a whole bunch of money in tech sales. And you can do the exact same thing to change your family dynamic, to change your personal dynamic if you chose a career in tech sales. And not only that, not just choosing a career in tech sales to just make the money, but also to climb the ladder and to also leverage the skills that you will gain to make money for yourself one day, guys. That is very, very important. Very important in my book. But guys, if you like this video, go ahead and leave me a like. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're new to this content because I'm going to continue to drop some dope content. And until next time, y'all, peace.